Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water filter housing in a KitchenAid refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, small flat desk driver, and a half inch open ended wrench. When you open out the package, you're going to get a new water filter housing. This water filter housing is mounted in the fresh food section in the upper right rear corner. It allows for quick replacement of the water filter. If there's a water puddle under the filter housing, check the housing and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the door. So this is our water filter housing that uh, we are going to replace. I'm going to remove this top shelf to make more workspace for myself. I'm going to put a towel on the bottom here, just in case you have some uh, water dripping. Next I'm going to open this cover so we can remove the filter. And pull it straight out. Next I'm going to take out this uh, quarter inch screw at the bottom here, using the quarter inch nut driver. That screw holds the outer cover. Next I'm going to remove the cover. Let it down and uh, just pull it forward just a little bit. And it comes off. There's one more quarter inch screw at the bottom right there. And I'm going to use the same quarter inch nut driver. We're going to take the screw out. Next I'm going to lift up the housing just a little bit like a quarter of the inch and it will uh, disengage the, the two hooks on the right. Now I can drop it down. Next I need to disconnect these two water lines and uh, as you can see we have these uh, locking, uh, rings, locking rings, uh, red color, one on each uh, tube here at the bottom. So I'm going to remove it first and use this uh, small flat glass screwdriver and I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to place that uh, screwdriver right in this uh, gap on that uh, ring and slide it out. And I'm going to remove the second one. Next I'm going to use this half inch open ended wrench. I'm going to press down on the locking collar and remove that tube. And the second one, again I'm going to press on the locking collar and pull it down. This is the old water filter housing next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. All right, before installing this uh, new water filter housing, we need to install a couple of locking rings. They are two sizes, a little bigger and a little smaller. The larger goes on the right, the smaller goes on the left. So let's install them. Snap it on. And now we're going to connect the water tubes. I'm going to slide in the tubes. The bigger one goes on the right. I'm going to push it in all the way. Okay. And now I'm going to hang this uh, housing on this two little hooks on the side. So we have uh, two tabs that go inside. So we need to push it up as far as it goes and press it towards the side and push it down. And 
And now I'm going to use this uh, quarter inch uh, scroll and uh, I'm going to attach the filter housing to the side. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver to do that. Now I'm going to install this uh, filter housing cover. That tab at the back will be locked into the opening here, the wall right there. I'm going to insert it and then I'm going to lift it up, hold it, and we're going to secure it with this uh, single quarter inch screw using a quarter inch nut driver. Now we're going to install the water filter in. It goes in this way. And close the cover. Now we're going to remove the towel. And now we're going to install that uh, top shell back in. Slide it in. And now we can close the door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.